Minister M.K. Stalin has held a meeting through video conferencing. Remember, he's down with COVID-19 and this meeting that he's held is regarding the Kalakurchi issue. Remember, uh, violence broke out in the state on Sunday. The ministers and secretaries have been briefed by the chief minister and the people who instigated the violence and he's ordered for steps to be taken against all those who are instigating the violence and steps are also to be taken to curb the violence. For more details, let's also go across to Mughalan Chandra Kumar, who is uh, joining me live from uh, Chennai. Mughalan, if you could take me through what is the current uh, security situation before we move on to the suicide of that girl and how crucial the second autopsy is going to be. But first of all, uh, give us a sense of what is the security situation like on Ground Zero. Uh, definitely, yes, we have seen the kind of violence that unfolded in Kalakurji uh, two days before. And following that, we also saw the Madras High Court stepping into this issue and directing the Tamil Nadu state government to identify the people who have instigated this protest. And they have also, the Madras High Court have also observed that this is a... Uh, 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 they all. They also uh, said that everyone who is responsible uh, for this should be uh, booked, and it's an organized thing. And following that, now we are seeing the chief minister holding a uh, meeting through video conferencing, and in that meeting, senior ministers like Velu, uh, Anil Magesh. And Home Secretary Panindra Reddy, DGP Sailendra Babu, and ADGP for Intelligence David uh, Davidson Deva Sirwadam, and other secretaries, the School Education uh, Department Secretary Kakala Usha were present in the meeting because we have seen uh, in the last two, three days, we have seen the Tamil Nadu state government and particularly Tamil Nadu police have uh, made more than 300 arrests uh, who uh, who involved uh, in the violence that broke out in Kalakuriji district. So today, uh, in the meeting, the senior ministers, Anbil, Anbil Magesh and uh, uh, Velu and uh, Home Secretary uh, Paninda Reddy briefed the chief minister about the existing security situation and the current situation in Kalakurji district and the DGP uh, briefed the chief minister about the steps taken by the Tamil Nadu police to identify the people who instigated and who involved in the press, uh, protest and as I said earlier more than 300 uh, youngsters including 20 minors have been arrested so far and they have been right. put under at least Mughal 15 Mughal stay with us because we are also joined in uh, by other correspondents. Ritu is joining us live from the Kalakurchi Government Hospital. I am also joined in by Ananya Bhatnagar who is reporting live on this new story from the Supreme Court. For Now let me also take a question from Ritu. Ritu, how crucial is going to be uh, the second autopsy now as far as this case is concerned? Uh, because remember, the second autopsy is now being conducted after the orders of the Madras High Court. Well, exactly. After the Madras High Court, in fact, had uh, met their own demand of the family who had asked them for the second autopsy is something the Madras High Court agreed for and had given that out to them, saying that the, father, uh, the family members can be present and also the lawyer can be present and the whole procedure uh, will be videographed. So that is initially was the demand of the family which the High Court agreed. Now, but there is a twist in the story is that the parents have yet not uh, reached the hospital where the second autopsy was supposed to take place. It's been a long time. In fact, uh, the team of the doctors are already have already arrived. The, uh, uh, the team, uh, in fact, the CBCID team is also here on the ground. They are all been waiting for the parents to come, but there's no presence of the parents on the ground. And the the, the waiting is, in fact, from a long time. Not sure when exactly the parents will, will turn out on ground is something that everyone have been waiting. In fact, all, all of them are trying to contact as well. Now, what the police says as on the ground is, and what what our sources also tell us is that uh, the family, uh, in fact, has left from their uh, place and is in fact on the way to the hospital. They left home in the morning itself but it's been a quite a long time. The family has not reached the hospital still but police is also saying that they are also trying to contact the family members but their phones are not reachable. They are trying to coordinate and help the family out but family uh, you know the police is not able to reach out to the family members is something that the sources and the police are saying on ground.
Right, Ritu, stay with us as I take my next question from Ananya. Ananya, we all are aware that the Madras High Court has come down heavily on this entire uh, controversy, rather this act of suicide that's happened. Uh, allegedly, it's uh, suicide, but of course, the family is refuting that. Um, let me refer to what the Madras High Court has had to say. They are saying that such acts in future should be probed by the CBCID. Uh, how crucial is uh, that aspect in terms of legalities now? Oh yes, definitely. It is very, very persistent to note what the Madras High Court had said while it was dealing with the Kalapurchi suicide matter, uh, the, the death of the student matter, in fact, uh, because the parents have been claiming that it is not a suicide. And in fact, we have also recovered the suicide note. Uh, the CNN News 18 has accessed it exclusively. Uh, but what is very, very important is what happened in the Supreme Court today. The Supreme Court today, uh, uh, urgent mentioning was made by the lawyers of uh, the girls' parents who had knocked the doors of the top court seeking inclusion of doctors of their choice in the autopsy team who would be condu uh, conducting a repost mortem in fact into this whole matter uh, but the Supreme Court uh, declined the interim relief and would now be hearing the matter tomorrow the Supreme Court was at the view and uh, it uh, basically questioned the counsels of uh, the girls parents that uh, do you don't uh, do you, you do not trust the High Court uh, with regards to its uh, team of doctors so uh, the uh, the Supreme Court was basically of the view that the High Court has already appointed a team of doctors who would be conducting a repost mortem and uh, High Court has taken a serious view of this whole uh, position and uh, but still the Supreme Court would be hearing the matter tomorrow or over the other aspects of this case which uh, can be that the Supreme Court uh, can constitute a special investigation team but that is a matter of time we'll have to wait and watch as to how the Supreme Court reacts to this but then uh, the matter is gaining light not only uh, in the state of Madras but also in the Supreme Court uh, we'll have to wait and watch as to who will be hearing this matter tomorrow which bench yes, sir, of the Supreme Court would be hearing this matter and how the autopsy concludes and whether or not something or the other is found in the re-autopsy because the parents of the girl are clearly claiming that there were a lot of marks on the girl's body which have not been included in the first autopsy and this is the matter this is the major reason why uh, they had approached the Madras High Court who had refused uh, their prayer for inclusion of a doctor of their choice and now uh, the matter would be heard by the Supreme Court tomorrow itself so we'll have to wait and watch as to how things pan out into this whole case. Right, uh, thank you Ananya Ritu uh, for bringing in all those details and uh, let's try and get in a sense of perspective on, in terms of what this controversy has been all about and for that I'm joined in by our guests uh, Mr. Suman C. Raman who is a political analyst and uh, Mr. Raj Shekharan who is a senior lawyer and founder voice of uh, Tamizi Nadu. Um, Mr. Raj Shekharan if I could take my first question from you how do you view now the need for um, a central agency stepping in in terms of this investigation because there's clearly been uh, a lapse uh, as far as the administration is concerned as the parents have been alleging they were not kept in the loop clearly and uh, that is why the need for a second autopsy has also risen i'd like to take in your thoughts on that uh, the mod the honorable madras high court had uh, passed an order yesterday right. that the second uh, autopsy has to be conducted based on that order the petitioner, the parents of the deceased girls, Sri Madhi, had approached the Honorable Supreme Court. And the Honorable Supreme Court has uh, upheld the order of the Madras High Court and said, let the autopsy go on. They'll hear the matter tomorrow. That's what uh, we understand from what is happening in this matter with regard to the courts. But again, if there is any issue in the investigation, already the government of Tamil Nadu has transferred this case to CBCID and the CBCID has started the investigation. That's what I, I'm told. And uh, there is a new uh, committee, I mean, new uh, team formed by the uh, government of Tamil Nadu. Having said that, if Having said that, Mr. Rajshekharan, which is why I'm going to refer to the Madras High Court, they said that in future, if such cases take place, they should be handled by the CBCID. Um, how, how significant is that statement? Because clearly there's been uh, this, this erosion in terms of trust when it comes to uh, the state or rather district authorities. Yes, I totally agree with the Honorable Madras High Court's uh, order and observations because the local police may not be competent or they, may, they are not uh, so effective in uh, immediately acting uh, to incidents like this, hmm. sensitive incidents. So the Honorable High Court has made a strong, stringent uh, comments with regard to these kind of investigations in issues like this. 
and uh, uh, the wisely the government of Tamil Nadu immediately uh, transferred the case to CBCID and we, uh, I don't want to jump the gun because uh, we have to wait and watch how the investigation goes on. The matter is subjudice before the Honorable Supreme Court and also with the Madras High Court. Uh, there will be a status report uh, filed before the Madras High Court with regard to the investigation and the autopsy. And uh, uh, before making any kind of unsolicited comments, I refrain from making such comments against the police force because it will demoralize them. And, uh, no, it is not about demoralizing them. Having said that, uh, Mr. Sumansi Raman, do you not agree that there has been a serious lack as far as the security on ground level is concerned, why were the parents uh, not kept in the loop? The mother has a whole set of allegations. The fact that the body was placed in a mortuary, considering she had her parents and, and even the school authorities were aware of her family's whereabouts. Why was the body placed in the mortuary? A. B. The, do you not think that the kind of violence that is being witnessed in Tamil Nadu today is also a result of the lack of... Uh, 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 adequate action taken by the uh, administrative forces, including the police in Tamil Nadu? Yeah, I think that uh, there has been a failure at multiple levels. Right. Um, first is, as far as the school management is concerned, uh, clearly they should have taken the family into complete confidence and they should have uh, uh, tried to uh, be as upfront as possible about things. But the point is, as far as the administration is concerned, for three days there were protests going on uh, in front of the school asking for justice. Now, today the suicide note uh, details are accessed and there she clearly blames a couple of teachers and the teachers have been taken into custody yesterday. Had this happened or had this police action been taken four days ago, maybe the entire uh, unfortunate incidents of Sunday could have been averted. So clearly it is an intelligence failure as far as the security being provided on that particular day of the violence was concerned. But more importantly, it's the laxity that the police have shown during the investigation mm. of this of this uh, incident that really has probably led to this uh, violence. Had they acted earlier, especially when two or three days of protest, they had the suicide note. The uh, suicide note was available with the police right. um, soon after the incident. So what were they doing about it? Now right. they have arrested. They have arrested the, um, uh, you know, the chairman, his, uh, 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 you know, his, the secretary and uh, the principal and two teachers. But uh, all of this happened after the violence, not before. Absolutely. That is the unfortunate thing. Uh, that's why. That's one thing I'd like to ask, Mr. Rajshekhar, and also, don't you think that these arrests, which are some very crucial arrests, especially of those two teachers uh, who have been mentioned, that is the mathematics and the chemistry teacher, who have also uh, um, uh, surfaced in that suicide note as well. Do you not think that these arrests, Mr. Rajshekhar, should have happened much earlier, and that these actions, which are now being taken after violence broke out, are too little, too late? See, I don't know what transpired between the local police and the uh, police higher-ups and the government. And what uh, Sumant Raman said is right. I agree with him on that. I concede with all his comments because uh, they could have averted this uh, Sunday incident. But uh, see, as far as the arrest is concerned, any arrest, it is the prerogative of the local police authorities. And uh, upon the investigation or the inquiry they are conducting, they have to take a call. We cannot sit here and say that they should have done this, they, they should have done this and that and all. It will be very unfair on anybody's part to comment on in such a manner. No, but, but as a lawyer, I'd like to understand what are the legalities that go into uh, police action once there's, there are names mentioned in a suicide note of, of the deceased. How, what are the legalities that follow then? Perhaps you can enlighten me better as a lawyer. Yes, definitely. What you are saying is absolutely right. And uh, going by the suicide note, the police should have immediately swung into action and uh, taken all, all kinds of, uh, I mean, actions with regard to the arrest. But I don't know what, where uh, it went wrong or why it was delayed. All this has to be uh, understood if, if somebody reveals it from inside. Because we don't know what had happened between the local right. police and the uh, higher-ups and the government. It, it, it is a very confidential matter, the intelligence matter, and we don't know what all messages they had uh, exchanged between them. And, we uh, certainly why don't know how confidential delayed. this matter is, uh, considering uh, everything's out in the, in the open now. Now, now yes, now it's out.
But right. initially, on the preliminary stage, you cannot just say that they right. should have uh, uh, You I'm don't know what, what I'm going happened. to have to leave it at that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Raj Shekharan and Mr. Sumansi Raman for joining in this discussion. And with that, let's now shift our attention over to other news stories. After the disturbing story of female students being told to remove their uh, inner wear before entering the NEET exam, Hall emerged in Kerala today. The RSP MP NK Premchand ran uh, Premchandra.